Hi guys, my name is Alex. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make your life easier when creating such UV maps for your 3D models that are supposed to be used in games. So, here we are in 3ds Max and we have this 3D model overhead of the turret and if we select them all we see that we have 10 objects made and every, moja, every object has its own uh, unwrap uh, UV modifier and uh, if we open one of them up normally it would look something like this with these checkerboards and before you uh, redistribute or unwrap your model it will it would look totally different but I'm not gonna show in this tutorial how you unwrap your model uh, but in the end you would probably select both this rescale and rotate and back normalize and it would look something like that and for every uh, single uh, object it would look something similar than this and in the end we want everything to be unwrapped in one UV map so how we can do that first of all when we create this separate uh, unwrap UV modifiers it is wise not not necessary but it is wise to to make a scale uh, scale uh, the appropriate models down uh, because we can see here this 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 part it's going to be really small and uh, looking from the, from a distance it doesn't need uh, a lot of space in your UV map so you scale it down and you can place it out of this uh, checkerboard so why would you want to do that because after we do this same technique for all the parts we select one of them and we right click on the UV map and collapse to and then go down to attach and click on this attach list and then select all and attach together now all these objects are now just one object and when we apply a unwrap UV modifier to it and open a UV editor we can see we have I'm gonna shut off this checkerboard we have all these different parts uh, placed in, the, in one map and here we can see I placed each different object uh, away from the center that way I, I can access it uh, really quick uh, and place it into this UV map. If you wouldn't do the step that I showed uh, before where I scaled and moved this part to the side everything would be in this UV map uh, space and it would be just like a big mess all vertices and polygons would uh, lay um, on each other and you wouldn't be um, able to see which UVs uh, are representing which object this way we can now just click and drag into our UV map and then just and just 
rotate it if needed and if we and when we are satisfied we are going to save it as Steve and open up in Photoshop so you have to be uh, aware that it is wise to cover as much space uh, as uh, you can with your, with your UV maps because game uh, tools are going to use this UV map uh, in whole and it is wise to just use the space you have the other thing you should be aware of is uh, to stay away from these edges so be sure none of your vertices or polygons are outside of this uh, box or are on the edge and another thing is that you should avoid uh, something like this when these parts are were way too uh, close to each other so just make appropriate spacing between them so when you are finished doing that you just go up to tools and to render UV template and then I normally set this to 2K because it is wise to make a bigger UV map and then uh, paint it into Photoshop and then if necessary to scale it down to I don't know 512 by 512 and you won't lose any details in uh, your UV map. I, I don't want to see same edges and then just render UV template. Then when this is done, I just go up here and save it as stiff because it it holds all the uh, small small uh, edges that are going to be needed when painting in Photoshop. After we do that, we just open up uh, Photoshop and we just end up finishing painting with something like this. I'm not going to go through how I created this map, but let me just say I started with this and after, I don't know, a few hours, I just ended up with something like this. Uh, first of all, you should be, you should use layers and folders. Name it, name them accordingly. So when you, if you have to change something, you can go easily back to the, back to the part you need to change and change it without having to go all over again uh, with texturing from the start. This will save you a lot of time uh, when making some small changes to your model. After I finish doing that I just save it as PSD or JPEG and apply it to the model and afterwards you could uh, you could you could detach different parts from your model and still remain retain your UV map. Let me show you what I mean. Now, if uh, if in game this uh, this barrel should be moving, you can't move it right now because it is attached to your uh, top turret. And if you want to detach it, you just have to right click and collapse to uh, your your mold so that way this UV map is now baked into this mold and then just uh, selecting element and selecting the elements you want to detach and then go down to where all you detach and then just name it and detach it now you can see it is not uh, a part of this model, it is a separate model and if you want to check it your UV map you just uh, add your 
and grab UV modifier to it and open UV editor and you can see your model is showing your UV map is showing where your uh, UVs are placed in your UV map and you shouldn't mess up uh, mess uh, with this anymore uh, so just leave it like that and you can then uh, animate this barrel by itself so this is pretty much it uh, another thing I would like to point out I, uh, how I made these uh, buttons visible normally you don't, you don't have by default anything here so if you want to see some buttons here you just go down to configure modifier sets and then just <coughs> configure modifier sets and then just click and drag <coughs> sorry about that click and drag to your uh, modifier set and then just uh, set this number of buttons that are going to be shown then just name your set and save it and this way you're going to get your personal uh, buttons that you use uh, more often. So uh, after applying and modifying and texturing I ended up with something like this. Uh, so this is pretty much it about uh, how you create your UV map from uh, different parts uh, in one UV map. I hope you learned something new, and till next time, bye.